I mean, I, I think there's some positives in the fact that, uh, you know, we were down 19 points or, you know, 19 points with nine minutes to go. And, uh, you know, it was a two-point game with a minute 54 to go. I mean, didn't quit, uh, competed incredibly hard for that time period. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think that's easy to do when you're down 19. So, uh, I, I, I guess if you're going to take something positive out of it, that's what I take out of it. Not quite halfway into this second half. Guyton finally hits. Now Guyton will drive baseline. Underneath, they'll reverse and knock it in off the window. Randall Holt keeps it on the dribble. He'll fire the three and hit. That at one of the huddles. And, uh, you know, once, once we started to make some shots, you know, it, it lifted our defensive energy. And then we got some steals, and we were able to get back in the game. We were just a play or two away from, from, you know, maybe being able to take the lead. And if we had taken the lead, it probably would have been tough for them to get it back. But, uh, you know, they made a couple plays down the stretch when they needed to. We, we missed a couple shots down the stretch when we need to make them. And, you know, they get out of here with a win. Another chance. And another make. At some point, it's going to cost you a little bit as Wiggins misses two. So the flashes do get the stop on the back-to-back -back misses by Wiggins at the line. Mans with single coverage. He'll throw it away. Perini takes it right back, though. Winging it back out to Randall. Yes. And knocks down another one. Some guy that's averaging five points per game. He's got 25 on the evening. Part of Kent State's problem is they haven't got the ball inside, so no fouls mounting against yep. Charleston. Perini back to Guyton. He goes for the head fake and then dumps it off to Mans. Land. Uh, usually, you know, when we're down at halftime, we usually start the second half really well. Uh, you know, we started by missing a little hook shot and missing a couple shots, turning it over, and, you know, they got the lead up to 10 really quickly uh, in the second half, and then it sort of seemed like we were digging ourselves out of a hole from that point forward. Five minutes, and the flashes have got to have a sense of urgency. But they don't have a lot of size. Carlton Guyton, bam, knocks it down. And a Don't go off. away. Timeout with over four to play. Johnson with Perini on him. You can see the intensity in Perini's eyes as he guards. Johnson lost it and a <laughs> oh, steal. Man. Two on one. Guyton is slowed up, but he bakes it in anyway. What a comeback. Down 19 with 10 and a half in six and a half minutes. They've cut that 19 point lead down to two. Oh, no question. I thought it was great that, that uh, all these guys came back. John Wharton, uh, you know, Q was here from more recently. John Wharton, who was the first, you know, the, the first Kent State team to go to the NCAA tournament. He was the MVP of the tournament. He was here, the most recent. Kent State team to go to the NCAA tournament. I mean, Quain Pants, he was the MVP of the MAC tournament. He was here. I thought it was great to see all those guys. And I think our kids, uh, I, I really think they wanted to play for those guys, Antonio, et cetera. I think our kids wanted to play for them. You know, in a, w in a weird way, jumping out early the way we did might have been the worst thing for us because we, we did relax. I mean, and, and then they got momentum and we couldn't get it back until it was too late. But our kids wanted to play for sure, and and I think they wanted to play hard uh, for those guys, guys like Demetric Shaw and, and all those guys, Brian Bedford, on and on.